My first thought, instant of realising real loss and grief came not from the loss of a family member, but from a brief scene at the end of an animated feature shown on TV, which even at an early age, I knew it affected me. You see, it showed me the joy that comes of creation, and the moment of a young boy's elation at the falling of a decent layer of snow in a rural back garden. Little did I know that just 20 minutes later, in floods of tears, I'd be saying goodbye to my innocent years. You see, I watched as a friendship was formed and built, was moulded from snow that had been spilt onto cold earth beneath clearing skies. I watched as magic happen before juvenile eyes and an inanimate figure came to life, came into existence for one glorious night that contained drunken revellers far from sleep and mighty monsters from the deep, that had a journey to a land in a distance somewhere that could only be reached by walking in the air. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I watched and I wished that it was me that had been whisked away on that magical journey that I would be the one to receive from St. Nick my own private personal gifts. I wished. I closed my eyes and hoped that they would open in a land of snow, that somehow I had indeed been given the chance to go and witness firsthand such magical delights. But I opened my eyes to a TV screen showing cartoon dawn light, and I was disappointed. But somehow within me, I found a shred of joy because if it couldn't be me, at least that one boy. Now for him, there were brief moments of sleep before waking with a memory that would keep him warm in his pajamas as he charged downstairs straight through to a back garden bathed in an early morning glare, only to find that a friendship so recently begun had disappeared in the light that came from a winter sun. His heartbreak mirrored my own. And I found that I just could not cope with the sh image shown of that young boy who stood over his friend. And in that moment, I knew everything ends.